Hi guys, this is Abi from Goksha DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to troubleshoot and analyze upload and deploy errors in Elastic Beanstalk using application logs in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the Elastic Beanstalk service, then click on Create Application and give your application a name. Choose Python from the platform dropdown, then select upload your code. For source code origin, I'm going to select local file, then grab the python.zip file from this AWS developer guide. Hit choose file and upload this python.zip file, then hit create application. Give it a few minutes for the environment to come up then go inside your application's environment page. Click on your application's hyperlink and you should see a congratulations message, which means it was successfully deployed. Next, let's uncompress our python.zip file and edit the application.py file. Here, I'm going to introduce a syntax error by creating a typo in my accept keyword. Let's save the application.py file and create an archive.zip file by compressing these three files. Head back to the Elastic Beanstalk window and hit the upload and deploy button. Upload the archive.zip file that we just created, then click deploy. Give it a few minutes for Elastic Beanstalk to update our environment, and you should see our application's health change to degraded. <coughs> Click on Causes, and you'll see that our application failed because of a 5xx response, which means a server error. Next, click on Logs in the left menu, then choose Full Logs from the Request Logs dropdown. Click download to download the log file, then navigate to the log subfolder under the var directory. Open the web.stdout.log file in your favorite text editor, then scan for error messages. On the lines 158 through 160, you can see the syntax error being flagged for the typo in the accept keyword. Let's fix the typo in the application.py file and trash the old archive.zip file. I'm going to create a brand new archive.zip file by recompressing these three application files. Head back to the Elastic Beanstalk window and navigate to your application's environment page. Upload and deploy the new archive.zip file and give it a few minutes for Elastic Beanstalk to update your environment. The health of your application should eventually change to OK. Click on your application's hyperlink to confirm that it's now back to up and running. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.